Welcome to the Douglas County Department of Corrections. This program is an overview of the rules, regulations, and procedures you must follow. It will introduce you to programs designed to help you re-enter society upon release or participate in community corrections opportunities. While in our custody, you must treat all staff and inmates with respect. In return, you will be treated with fairness and respect. After watching this video, read your handbook. If there is anything you do not understand, ask a corrections officer. Admission. Upon arrival, your clothing, personal property, and valuables will be stored and you will be given an itemized receipt. Any money will be deposited into a financial account for your use. You will be issued a personal identification number, or PIN, and given a uniform. You will be given a wristband, which must be worn at all times. You may make one free local and one collect long-distance call. Staff will review your personal history and conduct medical and mental health screenings to determine your custody level. Your custody level will be reviewed 45 days after your initial classification and at least every 60 days thereafter. You will be issued linens, a bedroll, personal hygiene items, and a plastic storage container before you are escorted to your housing unit. Daily Life Every morning your room must be cleaned. Make your bed, dust, sweep, mop the floor, and sanitize the sink and toilet. Only towels and washcloths may be hung from designated hooks. Do not cover or shade the lights, vents, windows, and doors. Keep all areas free of graffiti. You must help clean common areas each day. You are expected to shower regularly and keep your hair clean. Personal hygiene items may be purchased through the commissary. Disruptive behavior, excessive noise, and loud, profane, or abusive language are prohibited. You will be charged the replacement cost for any department property that you damage, deface, destroy, or abuse. See your handbook for prohibited activities and behavior. You are not permitted on the housing unit officer's podium or behind the officer's desk. You may not be in any restricted zone without a housing unit officer's permission. Smoking or using tobacco products is prohibited. When moving through the facility, walk on the right side of the hallway as directed by the escorting officer. Clasp your hands behind your back. Do not communicate with other inmates. Lock down, gentlemen. Time for count. Emergency drills and counts will be conducted on a regular basis. Follow the directions of your housing unit officer and staff. During counts, show your wristband. Meals are provided three times each day and must be eaten in designated areas. During meals, wear uniforms, shoes, or shower shoes. Leftover food may not be kept in rooms, beds, or lockers. Trays, utensils, and food containers with leftovers will be returned to the kitchen. Special medical diets must be approved by the medical staff. Special religious diets must be approved by the chaplain. Televisions in common areas are available after morning cleanup. Only housing unit officers may operate them. Television sound stays off. A radio with earphones can be purchased through the commissary and tuned to the television. Outdoor recreation is provided one hour per day. Telephones. Telephones may be used upon request to a housing unit officer and as the housing unit schedule permits, except during counts, meal times, and lockdowns. Calls are limited to 15 minutes. Use your PIN number for all calls. Keep your PIN number confidential. Do not give it to another inmate. TTD, TTY phones for the deaf are available through the housing unit officer. Mail. Mail is available Monday through Saturday, excluding holidays. All incoming mail will be opened and searched for contraband. Legal mail will be opened in front of you. Incoming and outgoing mail must be clearly marked with the inmate's full name, data number, and the following address. Douglas County Department of Corrections, 710 South 17th Street, 
Omaha, Nebraska, 68102. If any of this information is missing, mail may be returned to the sender. Finances. Every inmate has a financial account to purchase commissary items or pay bonds and court costs. Family and friends may deposit funds to this account 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Money received by mail will be deposited in your account. We accept postal and Western Union money orders, cashier's checks from local banks, and cash. No personal checks will be accepted. Funds may be released to individuals on your approved visiting list. Money may never be transferred to another inmate's account. You can request an account statement once a month from the Records Department. Commissary Fifty dollars worth of items may be purchased each week from the commissary using funds from your account. Seventy-five dollars worth of debit phone time may also be purchased. You are responsible for the accuracy of your order. All items must be stored in your storage bag. Inmates without money may request hygiene products, paper, and envelopes from the commissary. Gambling, borrowing, loaning, giving, trading, bartering, or selling items is prohibited. Visits. You are encouraged to visit with family and friends. Visits are conducted through a video visitation system and are conducted on a first-come, first-served basis. Only those on the inmate's approved visitor list may visit. To add a visitor to your list, request a visitation request form from the housing unit officer. Visitors under the age of 18 must be accompanied by an adult legal guardian whose name is on the inmate's approved visiting list. Each week you are allowed two 30-minute clergy visits and two 60-minute personal visits. Transportation information for visitors is available upon request. Attorney visits must be coordinated through staff. All personal visits are monitored. Refer to your handbook for more information about the visitation guidelines. Medical needs. Emergency medical, dental, and mental health care is provided 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For emergency care, contact the housing unit officer. To receive non-emergency medical care, mental health needs, or dental services, complete a request form. List your symptoms or reasons for the request and put it in the medical mailbox. Medical staff will schedule sick call. You know, that one looks fine. Pregnancy management services are available upon request. Medical staff distributes medication as prescribed. Stay in your room or bed during medication call. Bring a cup of water to take the medication and present your identification band to medical staff. You must take your medications in front of the staff. Palming, hiding, storing, trading, or selling medication is prohibited. You may not have prescription medication without medical approval. Certain non-prescription medications may be purchased through the commissary. Medication not in original packaging will be considered contraband and confiscated. Inmates found in possession of medication not in original packaging may be subject to disciplinary action. Never alter labels or share medications with other inmates. Immediately report lost or stolen medication to staff. Sexual Assault Sexual abuse and assault is prohibited and will not be tolerated. All cases of sexual abuse and assault will be investigated and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Avoid an attack by following these guidelines. If pressured, report to a staff member immediately. Don't enter a room if you feel threatened. Don't be afraid to say no. Don't accept gifts from other inmates. If you are a victim of sexual abuse or assault while in our custody, do not shower, brush teeth, or change clothes. Immediately contact staff. Medical staff and chaplains are available for help. For more about prevention, reporting, treatment, or counseling, read your handbook. Educational and work programs. Programs including life skills, substance abuse avoidance, and GED classes are available. To participate, you must be a minimum or medium custody and have no disciplinary action within the last 30 days. 
you must sign a behavior contract and be willing to live in the program's housing unit. Send a request form to the program's office to participate. You may earn money during incarceration as a trustee or porter. Eligible inmates will receive training before beginning work. To become a trustee, submit a request to the classification office. To become a porter, submit a request to the case management office. See your handbook for requirements, standards, and job duties. Library and Legal To request library materials, submit a request to the library. Only one item per request is allowed. The library will send one book or magazine per day. You may check out four library books or magazines per week. Return all materials to the housing unit officer on or before the due date. Materials must be returned in the same condition as they are received. You will be charged the replacement costs of any damaged materials. General population inmates may submit a request to use the law library. Those in segregation may not go to the law library, but may submit a request to the law library for information and documents. You will lose library privileges and may be subject to disciplinary action for disobeying law library rules. See your handbook for more information. Notary services for legal documents are available by submitting a request to the notary services. You will be charged for making copies of legal materials. No other fees, charges, or co-payments apply. If you need your consulate, the housing unit officer can give you the telephone number. Local immigration officials may be contacted by writing a request. Rule Violations If you fail to follow the rules and regulations of this facility, you will face disciplinary charges and in some cases, criminal prosecution. In the case of disciplinary charges, you are entitled to a disciplinary hearing. You will receive written notification of the hearing at least 24 hours in advance of the hearing date. A case management sergeant will convene the hearing committee and provide you with an opportunity to tell your side of the incident and present evidence. The hearing committee will render decisions and impose penalties for major misconduct violations. Carefully read your handbook for prohibited acts, charges, and potential sanctions. Penalties for rule violations may include a verbal warning, loss of privileges, restitution, segregation and or loss of good time. From this point forward, you are expected to know every rule without fail. Grievance Procedures Inmates with complaints regarding treatment, care, or living conditions may file a grievance. Speak with a housing unit officer or floor sergeant first. If grievances cannot be resolved, grievance forms must be requested within seven days of the incident. Only one complaint may be placed on each form. Inmates will not be subject to retaliation by writing a grievance. Community Corrections Pre-trial release is for non-sentenced offenders. To be considered, contact your attorney. Pre-trial release may only be ordered by a judge. House arrest and work release are available for sentenced inmates. The day reporting program is available for sentenced and non-sentenced inmates. To be considered, write to the appropriate program supervisor. The rules of this facility have been designed for your safety and the safety of those who live and work here. Be respectful to staff and other inmates. To make the most of your stay, Take advantage of education and work programs. If you cannot read, tell a staff member so he or she can explain the information in the inmate handbook. For questions regarding this video, your handbook, or any other matter, please ask a correction staff member for assistance.